Hey you guys, it's Carlos here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. As I'm sitting down to get ready to film, I just realized to myself it's been like three weeks since I've actually sat down to record a full length video for you guys. I've been recording so many short content that I just, you know, time just flew by and I didn't realize I didn't record. It feels like it's been a week since my last video. I don't know why. Anyways, you guys, how you guys doing? Welcome, welcome back. Hey, real quick, did you guys see I reached my 3K subscribers? See? Thank you so much for the ongoing support. I greatly appreciate it. If you are new to my channel and you have not subscribed to my channel as of yet, what are you waiting for? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload new videos, whew, I don't know how I did that. Um, I went blank now. See, I messed myself up. I was on the flow. Anyways, anytime I upload a new video, you automatically get the notifications. All right. So in today's video, we are going to be unboxing my new shipment from Ipsy. Well, technically it's not Ipsy. It is BoxyCharm by Ipsy, even though it only has small little font of BoxyCharm here. But Whatever. I'm not going to lie. This box is actually super cute. It has like this whole ombre, you know, like appearance. They took away the whole pink and, you know, they did like, you know, combination of colors. I, I don't like it, but I do miss like actually seeing the boxy charm. I don't know. It's just probably me, right? Maybe it's just, you know, like, uh, what do you call that? Um, a habit of nature or and or something like that. I can't think of the word. Okay, I'm getting scatterbrained already. All right, guys, if you are new to my channel, I'm pretty much a hot mess. It's probably the reason why I didn't realize I hadn't recorded a video in three weeks. So let's just go ahead and get this box unopened because I don't know where I'm going. The train has started and I don't have control of it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this box. All right, you guys. So in today's video, we as 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 I mentioned. We're going to be unboxing my Boxy Charm by Ipsy. What month are we in? Oh, J July. Sorry, summer. Summer has been kind of like a just like a combination of everything right now. It's just been so busy. Anyway, so for July Boxy Charm shipment. So, dum -dum -dum. Oh, oops, oops. All right, all right. So that's all we have in there. So we got a few items. All right, let's go ahead and take each item out. At a got no room. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and take each item out at a time, and then we'll go over that and see exactly what I received. Did that make sense? Yeah, it did. <laughs> All right, you guys, so the first item I saw in here, which I haven't seen them do in a long time, they actually wrap something up completely. Normally, they just toss things in there, and but this one's actually completely sealed. Okay, so this is from the brand called Origins. is the original skin retexturizing mask with rose clay. But that's how the packaging looks like. I'm hoping this is like safety seal. Oh no, it's not. Hmm. I'm surprised, right? You would think with products like this, they would have like a safety seal, like a little foil. I'm trying to think of the word, but it doesn't. Hmm. But I will say this. It smells nice, but it's a little strong. So if you're a person who's sensitive to scent, I will say that since this is going to be on your face, the smell may be a little bit overpowering. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's a pleasant smell, but I can tell even for me, I wouldn't really use it for that. So I'll probably be very, I'll use it very minimally to prevent that strong scent because I'm afraid I might get a headache. Anyways, enough of that. I don't know what the cost is. I guess I could look it up, but I ain't got time for that. Okay, so the next item that I got, what is this? Oh, Rodile. Oh, this is a huge bottle um, here. Ooh, how many ounces is this? So this is actually 4.6 floral ounce. This is actually quite large. I like the bottle itself. Um, so this is a brightening cleanser. I'm assuming this means vitamin C, right? Uh, okay. Um, hmm, interesting. Almost a slight chemical citrusy type of smell. I'm not sure how to explain it. It smells like like a like a, a skincare product, but with a slight citrusy scent to it. Does that make any sense? I know sometimes what I say don't make no sense, so hopefully you get what I'm trying to say. Anyways, you guys, I definitely can't wait to use this. All right, so this is from, oh, Lucky Chick. I've used this brand before. This is a lip and cheek multi-stick. I do like products like this that are multi-use. All right, so that is the canister that comes in. I'm kind of curious, how do you, oh, okay. I am going to keep this because I do like cream products like this. So I am curious, hmm, I'm curious about the shade, but I think that might be a little too pink for me. Dang it, I swatched it. I'm just going to buff it out. Okay, it's nice. It's not too bad. 
I thought it would be too pinkish, but it actually performed quite well. I really like the subtleness of this, and I do like the fact that it didn't go on too dark. So at least this, at least these, at least this leads me to believe that this is buildable. Say that five times, trust me. All right, you guys. So the next item that we have here, it is from Tressless Beauty. This actually was one of my picks. So this is a, what is this? It's a dual highlighter. Oh, it's just a highlighter. Interesting. I thought it was a blush. All right, I'm trying to understand why as I'm lifting this up, there is a highlighter here and then this weird look you see this why is that like that hmm oh it's a cream okay so to oh that is really clever yeah sorry it's on the back maybe if i looked a little bit further i would have answered my own question right all right so this is an everlasting and the everlasting shade it is cream and then the powder is paradise okay i got that so i'm just going to take a little bit of this product I'm curious, like, how's this? I like Trust Loose Beauty, I really do. All right, let's just see how this highlighter looks. I'm curious, is it like a big wow factor? Let's see. Whoa, it actually does. I don't know if you can see it. All right, let me get a little bit more and put some right here. I'm not trying to look like Rudolph, 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 Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Okay, anyways. Um, oh yeah, it has a glisten, but it, it mm. I will say this, and this is the bad thing about highlighters, that it does um, bring out your pores. Um, I don't like it on my nose because I see my pores a little bit more versus on my cheekbone area. I don't see it as much. But again, that's typically how highlighters are. It does emphasize on those areas. So my suggestion would be if you like using highlighters, ooh, let's see how about the cream. If you like using highlighters, be very careful on where you're applying it because if you want to air if you want a particular area not to show so much of your texture then i wouldn't apply it there but that's just my opinion all right let's go with the cream oh it's really nice whoa okay so let's go ahead and try this now all right let's just try it up here right let's see okay you know what I actually like this a little bit more because it's not as bold and almost looks like a highlighter blush in one hmm okay you can't see it but trust me it actually performed quite well okay you guys so it's just a quick moment what i end up doing is just wiping that stuff off because i really want to actually see how it looks like in person with me using it so i went ahead used this blush one more time I actually applied it all right here buffed it out and then what i end up doing is on this particular side right here i end up using the powder highlighter and then the opposite side I end up using the cream highlighter now i will say this um i still like the cream highlighter better especially for my skin um because it doesn't like as, as I mentioned that highlighters can really emphasize the texture of your skin or your pores. So I like the cream more better than the actual powder because it did that opposite of it. Hopefully that made sense. All right, guys. So last and final product that I received, this is from, okay, who is this from? This is from the brand called, oh, the Beauty Crop. Is that what it's called? I guess, but it looks like it's a lip dual kit. So this is a lip cream, wait, lip cream, lip kit it <laughs> wouldn't want to come out anyway so this is a set of hydrating liquid lipstick and long lasting lip liner okay what i will say though is the actual the shades themselves i don't think it has a shade name on the packaging i could be completely wrong but i looked at <laughs> i looked around and i could not find a shade name so i don't know but i will say the shade is actually really beautiful this is definitely right up my alley okay so the true test for me is the lip liner because i don't like lip liners that are like really harsh and they tug on your lips even though you could use your hand and warm up the product or get a little bit of like a um a lighter to kind of warm it up but i don't like to go through all that hassle i like cream or gel liner so so far this looks like it's going to be a cream but let's just take a look here i'm curious okay okay right away it does have a nice formula in terms of like the texture it does not pull on my lips so far i'm absolutely loving how this is actually applying yeah definitely i love this formula so far win in my book all right so let's go ahead and use the lips liquid lipstick 
and see how well this blends together. Okay, so right away, I will say this, the, the, the container that it comes in, it feels kind of cheap, but there's no scent. Hmm, that's surprising because typically uh, liquid lipsticks have like a foul smell to them or sometimes they have like that fake like candy smell. This one actually has no scent. So, okay, that's pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and apply this on here. Oh, wow, that's gorgeous. Okay, so first impressions in terms of the color, great. The formula is smooth, smell, it's like there's no scent to it in terms of scent. I can't talk. Um, yeah, absolutely. It does feel a little bit cheap, I'm not gonna lie, but overall, so far, a win in my book. But definitely leave a comment below. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions about this actual lip kit. All right, you guys. So that was my unboxing again for my BoxyCharm by Ipsy for the month of June. Overall, it was actually a good amount of like products all around. I had enough. Uh, I got I had enough. I got a good variation of skincare and with makeup. Normally I get more of the skincare, so I'm pretty content with this particular box. As I mentioned, if you are new to my channel, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload a new video, you automatically get the notifications. And once again, thank you guys so much for the 3K subscribers. I greatly appreciate it. But until then, make sure to brush your teeth, wash your culo, and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye now.